just want to welcome you to Valley Farms Library tonight for this absolutely wonderful event. And before I say another word, I'm duty bound just to point out to you that we have an emergency exit to my left through those doors, straight through those doors as well, and we have public toilets through those doors and just to the left. But just to get on to better things, I'm, we are so grateful here to have Christine using the library for her exhibition for the month of March. We're so delighted because the Semperate Factory is local to our area and tonight we have um, a wonderful connection through art to the locality and um, welcome to all the family, Christine's family, all her family and a big welcome to all the ex-Semperate employees of which um, a father-in-law of one of my colleagues is, is one too, he's not here tonight. So welcome to all of you. I'm going to hand you over now to Chris O'Rourke, who's lecturer at NCAD, who's going to say a few words. So enjoy your evening, everybody. Um, I won't keep you too long. Um, I, I, was, I was Christine's tutor when she was doing a degree in NCAD. And that's why she asked me to say a few words this evening. And uh, for me, I go to exhibitions all the time, but this is a very unusual occasion because it's like two, two family reunions, as Una said. There's the separate workers' reunion and there's uh, the Christine's family reunion, all happening in one space. Um, I came up here the other day after the exhibition was hung, and uh, I, I wasn't aware, to be honest with you, until I got here about the element from the, be the Body Frame Heritage Group uh, that the photographs along underneath the video piece here and the video piece itself are put together by the Heritage Group. Uh, it's Ken and Sean are the two men responsible for that and fair play to them, they're doing a great job. Uh, I was just talking to the lads earlier and you've got 13 and a half thousand photographs from the neighbourhood. Fantastic. I'm a documentary photographer and painter myself and I, I think that's an incredible um, statistic in relation to uh, a community, a working class community like Valley Fairman, to have that, that much of an archive already uh, in place in terms of the future generations I want to really uh, appreciate it. <coughs> I've already earwigged on a few conversations with men who used to work in, in Semper and uh, I, think it's, I think it's really interesting what I've been hearing and there's a real strong sense of family amongst yourselves so I mean uh, that kind of culture of, of pre-digital culture, let's say, where people work in factories in a different way to the way maybe we work today. Um, it's, it's a culture that has been exported to other parts of the world largely. Um, and, you know, it was one, I heard one man say that it was the best thing ever happened to him in his life to get a job in Semper back in the day. Christine's uh, father worked in Semper and even when she was still a student in NCID, uh, this team was already present in her work, in her own <coughs> work. Um, so, so there's, a, there's, a, there's all kinds of overlaps here in this room. Uh, I went home after being here the other day, and I, I, I kind of, I went online to see what I could see about Semperate, and I, I saw some, I read something about the 1996, the final closure of the, of the, the factory. But then I saw this other piece, um, from 1983 in the Dáil, a, a transcript from the Dáil uh, where Tomás McGillock was questioning the Minister for Finance at the time, was John Bruton, and um, a, around support, there was, I think there was a, a period of redundancy maybe at that stage, and uh, he was talking about financial support for Semper at that time and so on. And those of you who know McGillock, whether, whatever about your own personal political perspective, he was somebody who had the interests of the Irish working class at heart um, throughout his life, and he's long gone now. But I thought that was really interesting to see that because just yesterday was Women's Day, the National Women's Day, and down the road in Inchicore, where Christine's family are from, um, there was a, a, there's a new museum down there in the old Christian Brothers School. It's called Richmond Museum, and it's the Richmond Barnes Museum. Uh, and my wife was involved in the events there yesterday, and I, I, she brought home photographs, and there was uh, Tomás McGillis' wife, 80-something years old, still present on a day like that, still out there as much as she can be, um, doing, taking part in 
in the never-ending struggle for, for um, the, the equality, whether it's gender or class and so on. Um, and all of that is very intermeshed and um, meaningful. Uh, so I don't want to go on too long. I just want to, to say that what's been done in terms of the heritage uh, <coughs> group is, is wonderful. And it's a great occasion for the people who work in, in Centre. Uh, and I, I, I studied painting in, in my day, but I, later on I studied photography as well. So both, both are important to me. And, and I think the documentary approach of the heritage group is wonderful and what, what they've achieved so far. Uh, and none of them keep at it. But there's a documentary style to what you're seeing here in terms of the heritage group. But I'm sure this evening a few of the men who work here, I'm not sure if any the women here who work in Semper, mostly men, but I'm sure some few of you will end up having a few jars later on. And at the end of that process, when you're you're kind of coming to the end of the the rational bit of the evening where, where you're talking about memories and connections, something else happens, I think. You know, emotions come into play. And in a way that's where art starts, you know. And I think in a way, the documentary piece over here, and then the way Christine has interpreted that reality in terms of the emotions that are present and the feelings that are present in the artworks that are not necessarily immediately comprehensible as like photographs are, but you have to give painting time to take it in and allow your own emotions to take part in the process. And Interestingly enough for me the other day, and it's not my job or it's not anybody's job at an exhibition to start explaining, okay? we all feel we know what photographs are about, but, but we don't feel so easy with paintings of them. Um, so I'm not going to start talking in that way, except for one, just one example. We were talking here the other day about the, um, the this painting in the corner here. What do you call it? The mill knife. And so the men who worked in, in, in Semper would know about the mill knife. But maybe some of you are not finding it easy to recognise the mill knife, right? But that's because Christine said, I didn't want to, to work from a photograph. I wanted to work emotionally about what, what that mill knife was doing and what it was. So there's something else goes on. When you get to that point, you go beyond photography and you get into, into the emotions and so on. There's something, there's something going on there that is an emotional response and an intuitive thing that's going on there. And uh, we were chatting earlier this evening and you were saying that there was one, one man that you spoke to from, from Semper who identified strongly yes, with, with yeah, the... Yeah. Yeah. And so that's, that's, that's a really interesting crossover connection and so on. Okay. So this is... I, one thing I, do, I, I said to the, the men from the Heritage Group earlier, I think it'd be wonderful, Jordan, this show over the next few weeks, if, um, if it was possible to organise a session where um, people interested in local heritage, local, uh, local community, etc., plus students from uh, Body Fairman Senior College uh, were able to be invited to be here at the same space at the same time. Um, because I think in that context with, 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 the, with, the heritage, with the people from the Heritage Group and Christine present and that kind of conversation, definitely I think it would be really valuable at least for art students to begin to, to, to experience that sense of connectedness to place that is in this room in, in a couple of different ways. Um, so I'm, I'm, we're going to declare this exhibition open in a second and I'm going to finish. Christine is going to say a couple of words. But I'd, I'd, I'd like to just thank Una, Una Gomez because it was, it was an idea that Christine would, would, would show here. But I presume that come up with the idea that the Heritage Group and, it, and Christine together would be in the same. And it's, it's, a, it's a great success. And that's um, Una's forte, coming in together. <laughs> Thanks to, to the men from the Heritage Group. Thanks to Christine. And I'm going to step aside and let Christine say the last few words. Thanks everybody for coming and it's great to see so many here. Um, the exercise is called Tourists.
tours of the Irish were journey or tour. And it's been my journey and meeting people along the way. Chris being a tutor in college and having an interview with Chris Dunn, who worked in Sanford. And it was started four years ago when I used to go to Ballyferma College and I took photographs with Andrew Cameron. And Ballyferma College gave me my portfolio of course to enter NCD. I developed it myself, so it's a whole self process. So you go into a different place when you're you know, painting and taking photography. I went back there to take more photographs and the building is now different, it's all blocked up. Worked in the memory clinic for a little while while I was in college. And, um, so memory was my thesis, so using memory as a tool to art. So meeting the guys from uh, South Park and Heritage Group, really great connection. Sean and Ken, Ken's so great, and Sean. Um, thanks very much for all their help, because they have the history. And me, as a mature student going forward, in that college was like, all the young students were coming with forward thinking, forward memories. I only had past memories, and I was carrying a whole load of memories with me from being a big family. And it was kind of a bit heavy of a load, to be honest with you. So I decided to take a different approach, and to abstract, and to work with the tutors using pigment and experimenting and um, taking the photographs, photocopying them, so the whole layering process. And when I paint, I spray back the painting and I find something else and I bring it forward. So there's layers and layers of thought and what behind the painting. Not everybody kind of gets them, but that's okay. I uh, personally love them myself. So um, I'm really proud of them. And I'm delighted it all came to me, so many people, so many lovely faces, so thanks very much. Thank you.